In this video, we will take a quick look at some of the key aspects of CA application test, covered in the previous slides. We will use the multi-tier combo test case in DevTest Workstation, to tour test step types. Properties Datasets Filters And assertions We will look at execution in the ITR Staging a test case for a live test run And deployment to the continuous validation service In the DevTest portal we will tour the API test creation Test case monitoring And reporting The multi-tier combo test case interacts with the Lisa Bank demonstration application the test case is an example of a common banking application workflow, where a new user is added, money is deposited into an account, a bill is paid, and the user is deleted. This test case represents how various layers of an application can be invoked from a single test case, using the wide variety of test step types. The test case contains web service execution steps, EJB steps, SQL database execution steps, a JMS messaging step, and HTTP HTML request steps. Datasets provide the unique IDs and personal account data for the users. The values for the data are set to properties. The DS login data set generates the unique ID for the user and sets the value to the DS login property. The data set one dataset calls from an external data set containing information for 15 new users. The test case uses one user at a time, and the user record is set to the data set one property. These values will be passed through each step in the test case, and provide the flexibility for the test case to cycle through as many users as needed. The add user object XML step, uses a WSDL to invoke the banking system, and add the new user with the information provided by the data set. Notice in the WSDL URL, the properties, WS server, and WS port. And in the endpoint, the property endpoint 1. Below the endpoint field, the URL to the endpoint displays. It is currently pointing to localhost. By using properties instead of hard coding the values, the URL and endpoint can be easily changed by changing the value of the properties. This is accomplished by way of config files. Config files are used to change environment properties, and quickly use the same test case in a different environment. The project config is the default file, and it is read first when a test case executes. By opening the properties panel, the values of the properties in the project config file can be viewed. Right now, the values in the project config file are set to localhost. However, the banking application is on app server. Additional config files can be created to overwrite the values set by the project config. The Lisa Bank app server config file contains the app server values, and by making it active, the test case will now invoke the application on app server, and not localhost. And the new endpoint with app server, is now displayed below the endpoint field. After the step performs its action, any filters associated with the step will fire. On the add user object step, several filters parse the response, extract data from the response, and set the data to a property. For example, the FL login filter will parse the response, and set the login ID to the FL login property. After the application has been invoked, and any filters have fired, any assertions associated with the step will assert logic, and verify the results. For example, the check login tag exists assertion will verify there is in fact a login ID associated with the new user. If the tag does not exist, the assertion will fail the test. While designing a test case, the test can be executed in the ITR. This provides data about the execution for debugging, and the execution does not go into the reporting database. When a test case is ready for runtime execution, it can be staged and executed from Dev Test Workstation. If the project is accessible to the portal, the test case can be staged and executed from the portal. The DevTest portal also offers an enhanced monitoring tool, and test cases staged from workstation can be monitored in the portal as well. The results of test case runs are captured in the reporting database, and detailed reports are available in the DevTest portal. Along with monitoring and reporting for test cases, 
the DevTest portal provides the ability to create API test cases using manually created request response pairs or imported request response pair files. A test case can also be deployed to the Continuous Validation Service, or CVS. These test cases can be scheduled to run at specific times, and if they fail, immediately alert development teams. Test cases deployed to the CVS can be monitored and managed in the DevTest portal in the CVS view. Mm -hmm.